If you work in an office or from home, like I do, while animating explainer videos, you might find yourself wondering how your chair can go up and down without any external power source. We know there's gas inside and the height adjustment lever controls the gas flow. But how does it actually work? In this video, we'll explore the inner workings of the gas spring in office chairs and see how the same mechanism is used in car trunk lids and many other applications. The gas spring, also known as the gas lift cylinder, is a crucial component of modern office chairs, providing the support needed to bear your weight. From the outside, it appears as a piston inside a larger cylinder. However, that larger cylinder connected to the chair's base and wheels is merely a housing for the actual gas lift cylinder. One end of the gas lift cylinder is attached to the bottom of the seat, while the piston end is secured to the outer cylinder housing. At the top of the gas lift cylinder is a small push valve, which is controlled by the height adjustment lever. Let's start with the basic concept of a piston and cylinder. When the piston is outside the cylinder, atmospheric pressure is equal inside and outside the cylinder. When the piston is pushed upwards, it compresses the air inside, increasing the pressure within the cylinder to greater than the atmospheric pressure outside. This difference in pressure creates a net force that pushes the piston back. To support a weight of up to 250 pounds, the cylinder is filled with pressurized nitrogen. To adjust the height, a controlled valve can be used to reduce the pressure. When the valve is open, a small amount of gas leaks out, lowering the pressure so the piston can move upward. However, if the piston reaches the top, there will be no pressure left to lift it again, so the gas needs to be routed back. This is achieved by using an outer cylinder filled with pressurized nitrogen. When no force acts on the piston and the valve is opened, the piston moves all the way down to reach pressure equilibrium. The piston moves even though the pressure on both sides is the same. This is due to the difference in area on each side of the piston. The front part of the piston has a larger surface area than the back, which has to accommodate the piston shaft since pressure is force per unit area, the larger area experiences more force, pushing the piston downward. This is the principle behind gas springs used in car trunk lids. Unlike office chairs where height adjustment is crucial, there's no need for a valve in trunk lid mechanisms. Instead, a small hole is incorporated into the piston to ensure equal pressure on both sides. Due to the larger surface area on one side of the piston, there's a constant net force pushing it outward, effectively mimicking the behavior of a spring with consistent force. In the case of a car trunk, when the trunk is closed, its weight pushes down the piston against the gas pressure, similar to compressing a spring. When the trunk is opened, the stored pressure is released, assisting in lifting the trunk effortlessly. In a gas lift office chair, when you squat and pull the lever, the piston extends as there is no force acting on the seat. Once the seat reaches the desired height, releasing the lever closes the valve, dividing the pressure into two chambers, one in front of the piston and the other behind it. At this point, the piston cannot move because any movement would compress the already pressurized gas, requiring more force than the weight limit allows. Thus the piston is effectively locked in place. This mechanism allows us to adjust the chair's height comfortably or simply play around when boredom strikes during work. Understanding the engineering behind these gas lift mechanisms not only enhances our appreciation for everyday conveniences, but also highlights the ingenuity and innovation driving modern furniture design. If you found this video helpful and informative, consider supporting us on Patreon. Your contribution helps us continue creating quality content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the world of technology, design and innovation. Together, let's explore the fascinating intricacies 
of the objects we interact with every day. Thank you for watching and joining us on this journey of discovery.